Hey guys, Cassie TV here with another YouTube video for Path of Excel. Uh, this time I'm going to show you low slash no investment into money making. Uh, I don't normally like to farm for currency, uh, but this strategy is very simple. I've been showing it on stream for the last few days. Probably run it for a few more days, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it. It's very simple and I'm just going to dive into it to not waste your time. Let's go. The strategy involves the usage of Hamlet and specking into essences and metamorph. Now what metamorph is allowing you to do is you can contain a 50% of the map you do will contain a rogue metamorph and you'll have the metamorph droppers, uh, metamorph bosses drops an itemized sample uh, with additional itemized samples. And then uh, you can assemble additional metamorph in the area after the first is dead. So you get two shots at this uh, and the VAP meters in the area requires 50% less to fill. And then you have the finest sample, which allows you to get more of them doing more damage, but rewards in the areas are doubled. And the essence is pretty straightforward. Corrupting in prison can't be released when you use, use the essence on them, on the corrupted ones. Area contains additional essences, and essence in founts are tier higher. So, um, first off, watchstones. Uh, neither of these watchstones does anything for this strategy. If you want to invest into this, I would recommend any of the um, watchstones that would scale essences, but you don't need any of these watchstones at all. I'm not running any of them. And the other thing that you will need after specking the Atlas passives is two things. On the map device, we're popping essences. This costs you three chaos per map to do. That's three chaos. The other thing is a gilded metamorph scare. Now you can do with the lower ones, which cost the rusted, I think, goes for one chaos. However, the gilded cost four up to five C. I've been buying them in a bulk for six and a half chaos but you can buy them for 5k as each. That means that your total investment for this strategy without watchstones is 8 chaos per map. Then you run any Hamlet map that you want. I've been pretty happy with running alleyways because I keep getting Saints Treasure when I do this. Saints Treasures are going for 0.2 exalted each. I already got four, so that's going to be a two exalted orbs where you hit 10 if you do this long enough. And the rewards you get is very simple. I'm going to show you one map running the strategy real quick. Uh, basically, you fill up your SS tab pretty quickly. I've already been selling a lot of them. The other investment, the last thing you want to do is bring two, maybe three remnants of corruptions. And if you say use them, make sure you buy new ones. These remnants of corruptions cost three chaos each. You can actually buy them for two if you're lucky, but uh, roughly they cost three chaos each. The remnants can be used in two different uh, two different different ways. One, if there's a bunch of SSs uh, about to be popped and they are of high tiers, or you know some of them are valuable. For example, I believe. We have the Daphne Essence of Seal, for example. These are going for three chaos each. We have Essence of Spite, for example, going for 13 chaos each. So if you see any of those, but in a lower tier, you can use the, corrupt, the Remnant of the Corruption to upgrade or have a chance of upgrading that uh, Essence, uh, as well as adding another one to it. And you can also use any of the purple ones can be upgraded into any of the Corrupted ones. Hysteria's 20C, Insanity is going for 20C. And you put that up for sale. So that's basically the strategy with the remnants. So you basically your investment is eight chaos per map, and you want to get yourself two, maybe three remnants of corruption. So I got a couple of more just to make sure I have them ready. And then I'm popping alleyways. It doesn't really matter which map you run, but whichever is smoothest for you to run uh, is the optimal route to do this strategy. And that's just it. I've been doing this on the mage skeleton build that I have, which is a very, very, very low budget build. And I'm going to show you this on a little bit better build to speed up the run. So basically, we have a mystery here, which is a purple. I'll corrupt that one and nothing happened. We're looking for the corrupted ones in those. And you just loot all the essences. Make sure you consistently pop your Scourge when you have it, if you're, your build is able to run it. And that's it. And as you do this, you also pop up your uh, Conquerors. So you can do Seers whilst you're doing this strategy as well, if your build is capable of doing that type of content. And that's basically it. Um, so the, we paid 8 Chaos and we just used one Essence of Corruption or the Remnants of Corruption. And uh, that would be, what, 12C that we spent on this map. And we already have a Shrieking Essence of Seal, for example. Now this one is uh, 1C and the Shrieking. Uh, not really worth money, actually. My bad. And this is it. Uh, this is all you do. Go into the Scourge, pop it when it's ready. And um, that's about it. If you want to see the uh, end result of this... Um, We'll um, just speed through this fucking map, I guess. I think this is a nice way to do it. Uh, watch turns, you can always invest into uh, so-called better uh, farming strategies. But in the end, a lot of people don't have the money to start investing into running money. And this it, is just very straightforward. Me, as a person who d dislikes farming for currency, 
have a very easy time doing something like this because I don't have to invest into this and still have this as a profitable thing I can do on the side because I normally run uh, profit crafting to be the main source of income that I do in this game, which means I don't have to invest in the maps, I don't have to fill out my atlas, I don't have to think about anything really. I just run the game and I play, play whatever I want and I'll make money through my profit crafts. But a lot of people want to have a casual way of farming currency. You'll very often get access to incubators which you also can just pop as you're running this which can come from the um meta or sorry the meta warp as well maps are pretty simple smooth to run um so let's see we've spent 12 chaos so far on this map right and we'll see how much money we make out of it no matter what you do you don't need to be lucky if you get lucky you make more money if you're, di uh, if you're unlucky, you still make profit, which is basically the, the baseline goal of this strategy. Always want to make money no matter what you do. All right, that's it. And here's the boss. Pop this one. Pretty bad essences in this one, actually. This is good. So this is good to show how it looks when it's going really badly. So we pop the thingy here. And what I'm looking for is essences and the boss as well as currency. So we have currency here. I have to take the boss because uh, we get the, uh, the the pieces from that. I will prior prioritize catalyst because catalyst is big money uh, right now. And then we have currency. So this is the first um, metamorph we're going to do. And this is a rather generic one. And this is the money we get from it. I don't get hit by that. I can't reach it. Okay, great. Uh, currency, fossils, harbinger currency. I think I'll take that. More currency. Uh, rare, there's more currency, uh, offering silver essences right there. So the reason we're doing this is because the Gilded Metamorph allows us to have itemized on all of the thingies. That's why we want to run the Gilded approach to this. I need more mana. And this is it. This is the money we made for this. And this is a really bad one. I think I dropped a couple of Exalted doing this. It's not a super high Exalted per hour strategy but it doesn't cost you anything to run which is the good thing with a strategy it's close to no in no cost and in terms of investments and it's a lot of money from it so the divine orb is a bit lucky so that's eight chaos in that one excluding that one we had uh shrieking asses of misery it's another chaos that's another chaos that's another chaos uh we had a suffering that was pretty shit actually and that was pretty shit that's pretty shit uh we have 5c just the just the chaos orbs drop here that's five chaos right there we have a bunch of these ice uh that's double currency double currency that's a double currency i mean all just these are, are actually really really nice now i can't show you these but they're like they go for 5c each if you wanted to sell them i don't think they're gonna sell that well though we're gonna use them for another strategy in terms of catalysts uh we just made um let's see uh that wasn't much uh we have a turbulence that wasn't that much either. Imbued. Five chaos. No, so I have... Okay, that wasn't even that either. So the money from this run is basically breaking us even just on the, the items we have here. Actually, we did profit, but it's... Even without the Divine Ore, we made money out of this. But what's really cool with these the strategy is that with these eyes we have here, running this and knowing that you never lose currency doing this strategy will give you access to this this is really nice because because every when you do this strategy i'm going to show you one more thing before we end this video i'm going to dump this and i'm going to show you what happens as you're doing um these runs you collect a bunch of these uh body parts which you go to your waypoint and you head over to oh, that's the wrong place uh to the taint's laboratory and in taint's laboratory you suddenly have the access of popping another metamorph for more money so in this case i have a bunch bunch a uh, bunch of brains and what i'm looking for is currency or fossils or essences so in this case i'm just going to take some currency because it's very straightforward that's a double currency here's a double currency i'll just take any of those okay another here, take the essence from here then uh what else do we have one uh da, 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 da. we'll fuck it just take one of them doesn't matter um doesn't really matter all right so that's one thing i'm going to show you one other thing what you can do if you have too many of one type of body part as well and then you pop these in you kill this guy and bam you have more money 
You can sell the maps if you want to as well. It's just up to you how you want to make money with this and how much you want to sell, what you want to sell. But ultimately, it's very simple money making from this strategy. So they're just this extra one. Let's see, Rusted Legion, that's another two chaos. That's 2.8, that's another chaos. See, that shouldn't be much either. Don't think that's much either. And don't think that's much either. All right, so we got a little bit of currency from this as well. Not much, but it looks a little bit. So what happens if you end up in a situation that, that I have right now, which is that I have 24 of these pieces, but I only have three lungs, is that I take the ones that I don't think is going to be that good for me to use. Obviously, I'm looking for currency, essences, maybe fossils. So any of those I'll keep. So this one right here is pretty shit. Um, I have that one's pretty shit. And... Uh, Let's just take any of them, I guess. We'll just take this one. So you can go and sell My regards. three body parts to get a random body part back. In this case, we got a heart. So every time you have too many of one type, you can actually, I can, I can sell a bunch of these livers and hopefully I'll get a couple of lungs so I can do more of these kills and then go back to doing the strategy with just running these uh, essence maps. So TLDR, you basically spend... Eight chaos per map, you'll always make that currency back. And in more cases than not, you're going to make several times more than that uh, in profit. And then every time you do that, you also collect more of the body parts to uh, even emphasize even further on the profit making from doing these. Selling these essences or the catalysts are good money. For example, my six fertile, that's 27 chaos alone. The prismatic is 66 chaos. I only have 11 of them and they're 66 C, which is why we prioritize catalysts. Essence wise, if I take a look at my essence tab, what you can do is, if you want to sell, it's not always effective, but you can actually upgrade these essences to the highest tier, which is something I do because I have a tendency of selling the deafening essences are selling faster than the lower ones. So, for example, I got an, uh, this essence right here is 5C. So, by just running this consistently, you can get a bunch of these. And if you're not in a panic mode to get currency, for example, we can look at the essence of Spike is going for 13 chaos, but I have a 16 chaos price tag on it. And the reason I do this is because these prices here are for single purchases. People will sell them and buy them one at a time for 13C. But if you have a bulk of them, you can up the price a bit because people will buy them from bulk because they don't have to whisper five different people. They can instead pay a little bit more per essence than buy five from me directly. Now, obviously, five is not a very big bulk. That's why I put that price higher. And as I run this, I get more and eventually they will actually sell in a bulk all by itself. Uh, and I got this from one of the incubators. That's all I have to have for you today. It's a very simple money making strategy. It's not the best exalted per hour, but it's something you can do without needing to invest. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Heavily into the build. Hope you guys had use of this video. Hit the like button, subscribe for more content. Until next time, boys. Stay safe and keep rocking. Bye bye.